but I enjoy being a puppet. It's easy. You this town. Let it all go. It's the one from my dream. Doesn't seem to be doing too well. Being a puppet is easy, but I enjoy being a puppet. It's easy. You just have to let go. Let it all go. Yeah. <laughs> let it all go. That's the place. I've got to find the man in white. about Snow White? Shut up about Snow White. Every time you tell the story, we're playing. What the hell are you talking about? Snow White escapes from Foster's prison camp. Next thing you know, he's killing guys with a machete. Oh, that's the worst vision of the story I ever heard. You ruined the drama. Sounds like Hoyt needs to step in. Yeah, if it's true. <sighs> Hoyt will make quick work of the guy, that's for sure. Probably kill him with his own machete. He already did with the owner of the mine. Hoyt's an artist. He'll kill this one special. Am I right? What'd you say you look like again? All in. Nice play. That's the guy from my vision. He's gonna lead me to Keith and Oliver. That man's the key to this. I know it. Hi. I gotta stay on him. Can't let him see me. Jason Brody! Really? Yes! So you're Snow White? Yes, or, or no. Which one gets me blown up? Pragmatist. Promising. But do you consider yourself a patriot, Mr. Brody? Thing is, the real patriot doesn't just put his hand on his heart while holding a hot dog at the ball game. That's a gosh darn cakewalk, pardon my French. The real patriot suckles at the teat of Lady Liberty. Upon hearing of the death of a brother at war, the real patriot asks, Did we win? And then rejoices at the pronouncement of victory. So, are you a real patriot or one of those Walt Whitman hippies who cries when the jeans store runs out of pocket squares? A real patriot. Bingo. That's what I like to hear. By the way, Voss has your friend Oliver Carswell, and I'm zeroing in on Keith Ramsey. Why are you looking for them? It's my job to know this island inside and out. I can help you, but you gotta play the game. There's something I'm looking for. We'll trade favors. Deal. Jason. What are you? Some kind of spy? I'm not gonna confirm or deny that. Just messing with you. I work for Langley, Agent Willis Huntley. Oh, great. I need to get help from the Army and the government. You can't. I'm embedded, not really in contact with Central Intelligence. <laughs> so, you're alone here? No. Are you kidding? I got a whole team. They're out in the field, but they'll be back. These scans they sent have opened up a grade A can of worms. I can't talk to you about it, but trust me, it's big. It sounds huge. I need more info, though, from the source. Flammenwerfer. <laughs> Flamethrower. This beauty was invented in Krautland. Uh... Hoyt Volker. 
is the boss of a very good friend of yours, Voss. He also happens to run the largest slave trading ring in the South Pacific. On top of that, he grows drugs. If we set fire to his fields and his boat, he's gonna canoe over to this island. I get what I want, and we learn more about your friends. Capiche? I feel like that's only an Italian thing. Only Italians can say that. It's like spraying furniture gold. You know what I mean? Anyway, here's the gun. Wow. Thanks. That's what I like to hear. Don't forget the boat. Yeah, I got it. I'm trusting you on this thing with Hoyt. I'll play ball as long as it gets me closer to finding my friends. Maybe Dennis knows more about Hoyt. Hey, Dennis? Jason, what did you find? The vision led me to the man in white. Turns out he's a spy or something. Funny. I've never heard of such a man here on the island. Yeah, he told me about Voss's boss, Hoyt. Hoyt Volker. Stay away from him, Jason. They killed my you husband. Think Voss is like crazy. All, all the people on the themselves? island. He comes from Hoyt. He took Voss's mind away from him. It is he who pulls the strings. Wow. Okay, I'll be careful. What would you...